Hey everyone, this is DJ Sturf, and you're watching Julian Riku's YouTube channel. Hey, what's up everyone? Julian Rico here, and today I want to show you how to get your King's Quest 8 Mask of Eternity copy working on Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7. Um, it's pretty hard to get this game working on modern systems, but um, in this video I want to show you how to get this game working for speedrunning or just playing it. Okay, let's go. So, first things first, you have to go to a site. I post a link in the on uh, uh, I post a link in the description from the site. Um, you have to go to Quest Eight One Seven Patch. You go, have to go to uh, replaying dot de and download this patch king's quest 8 windows 7 patch click on this download button to download it and um it's it's an dot exe uh you need this to even play this game in in full glory so but first you have to mount this um, your copy of the game. I made an ISO from it, so I open it in my virtual clone drive. And uh, what the hell am I doing? So let's open it again. Then you click on setup. Yeah, cool sound. Yes, next, next, and then you install the game. You have to change some things after that, so be sure you make every step exact like me. So, it's okay, it's okay, no. Yeah, it's okay. So, then you have installed the game and um, don't start the game yet. We are not finished. Um, next step, uh, we have to yeah install Nglide. You have to install Nglide. Uh, I installed the, this version 1.05. You can see this also in the program section if you have this installed already you can check this here and glide or on your search and glide and here we go it's installed so uh, be sure to install this it's very important uh, that the game is uh, without this the game won't start at all so, but we are not finished yet. Um, we have to install the patch. Things Quest 8, Windows 7 patch. Um, double click on it. Select yes. Next. Next. Be sure you select the right directory here. It's C, Sierra, Mask. Okay. Click next and start and the installation is complete. Okay, thank you. Exit. And then you got this um, shortcut here on the desktop. Um, you don't need this. Um, we have to do something else to get this game working. So you can you can play this game now with this, uh, with this um, shortcut, but it will um, crash on certain events in the game the game will get la uh, uh, the game lags a lot in uh, in certain areas it's i i not recommend it to play it uh with this current state 
uh, we have to do something else again and uh, yeah let's see we go to downloads and then on uh, where is it uh, where is it um downloads dx you have to yeah you have to download dx vnd as well i'm sorry i, I kind of forgot this so dx vnd download and you can download this on uh this website here i post the link in the description don't worry um you have to install this and then make a short shortcut on your desktop again so start this with administration rights and you have this little window here add click add then name it phew. well name it kings quest kings quest 8 then click on here and then search for the .exe it's sierra mask and mask .exe open so and now you can run this game in win in window mode or in full screen mode in this video i show you how to get this run in window mode you can um you can uh uh, when you want to when to when you want to run this uh, in in full screen mode, you can click on desktop and then it's in full screen. Uh, um, desktop center is window mode, but I prefer full screen, so I let select desktop. Go on input and click on cursor clipper on. It's okay, and yeah, that's all. And now you can can run the game. I, I show you in uh, this in window mode. I, I try the desktop center. It's okay. And yeah, there you have it. Double click on it. And here it is. It's a little bit uh, small, the window, but you can, um, when you click on desktop, uh, then you yeah can play this game in full screen. So an important note here, oh, it's pretty, pretty loud. Um, do not change these settings at all, trust me. Do not hit 3DFX, trust me. 3DFX is the problem with the, uh, 3DFX has a problem with the game. Um, after, yeah, after, after some minutes the game get very laggy and it, it, it loads forever and crashes so play it on direct draw with dxvnd here and yeah that's all and now you can enjoy the game and um, the game will run very smoothly now and yeah be sure to hit um oh we can let's draw this again so be sure to when you want to play this again, I, I say it again, when you want to play this in window mode, select desktop center, and when you want to play this in full screen mode, select desktop, click OK, and then you're ready to go. So I hope you, um, yeah, I hope you guys like this little tutorial about King's Quest 8, Mask of Eternity. Trust me, guys. Um, this is uh, the best way to play this game. Um, yeah, this is the game has a poor support on modern system, uh, but I hope you, yeah, you have some fun fun with the game now, and I hope I, c I I could help you with this little tutorial. So thank you everybody so much for watching, uh, and see you next time. Yeah, the end.